Hello everyone, I Charu, PhD scholar at Chemical Glycobiology Laboratory NII, welcomes you to the scientific world of bacteria and its glycans. We know the central dogma of life which says DNA stores information to make RNA, RNA stores information to make a protein, but what after that? How is this protein converted to its matured form? That happens by some post-translation modifications of which one is glycosylation. So looking at the cell, this is how it will look when it is covered with a dense layer of glycans or sugars. This layer of sugar, we call it glycogalyx and all of the bacteria, they carry glycogalyx on its surface. Here I will be talking about this particular species of bacteria which is mycobacterium. So this bacteria by the name of the disease it causes that is tuberculosis. The cell wall of this bacteria or we can say the glycocalyx of this bacteria is shown here which has a lot of sugar moieties. These, these sugars are nothing but glucose or glucnac which is glucose with an acetyl group or another sugar which is glucose with acetyl group as well as a lactic acid group and some other sugars that is mannose or trehalose. So what will happen if we modify one of the sugars? Suppose I bring in glucose but with a different functional group in place of hydroxyl. Now this sugar 2-acetoglucose it resembles both a glucose as well as a glucnac sugar. So the question is can 2-acetoglucose be accepted by a mycobacterial cell? If accepted can this modified sugar replace glucose or glucnac in a mycobacterial system? So to the question if 2-acetoglucose is accepted by mycobacteria, answer is yes. We can see beautiful red label bacteria. This we now call an engineered mycobacteria. So now what if I move the second a0 to the sixth position making it 6-acetoglucose or move the fourth hydroxyl to the axial position making it a galactose. Is it still be able to engineer mycobacteria? Answer is no. Both of these modifications fail to engineer mycobacteria. Now moving to another question, can 2-acetoglucose engineered bacteria be visualized under host environment and we found yes. Here we can clearly see red engineered bacteria along with the host cell. Whereas vehicle control did not give us any signal of the bacteria. What if we administer 2-acetoglucose engineered mycobacteria to a mouse? Could we capture any fluorescent signal emitting from the mouse at different time points? And again the answer is yes. The differential between an untreated and 2-acetoglucose treated mice could be seen at early time points. So the take home messages for this mycobacterial study are 2-acetoglucose sugar can be used as a tool to engineer mycobacterial cell surface. Also this engineering open up avenues to track mycobacteria in area inside the host environment. Thank you for listening. For any questions or comments, please contact the given email IDs.